So this time last week, I was over in Atlanta, Georgia, where this seat would be the passenger seat, not the driver's seat. I had a few days to kill between Long Beach, California with Zwift and heading over to their run launch in New York. I literally pulled out Google Maps and saw what was between the two cities and not quite in the middle, but almost, was Atlanta, Georgia. HQ of one of my favorite companies, well, a company that I own almost every one of their products for and do a lot of content because of that, Wahoo, Wahoo Fitness. So I pinged them an email asking if it was okay if I dropped past and said day to everyone at Wahoo and met the team behind the products that I use a hell of a lot. So to cover the products off the top of my head, that would be the kicker, the snap, the ticker, uh, the floor mats, the desk, um, their apps, and everything in between. And if you've watched the channel quite a bit, you know that I'm a big fan of their products. So got the okay to drop past and spend the day with Wahoo. The day started off with a one hour session using Kicker Studio. Now Kicker Studio, a uh, very little known product from Wahoo, it's mostly US based. I think they've got a few studios, actually I know they've got a few studios in the US, that controls kickers in a spin studio environment. So met with the team and that was the first thing that we did. We all jumped on and uh, ripped out a session on that. That was super cool. I'm gonna ping them more about the mode we actually used for that. Because if you remember the channel or if you, a follower of what I've uh, spoken about before. I love erg mode, but I hate erg mode. Now this was sort of half erg mode. It was a bit, bit of a forgiving erg mode with a bit of give or take. Super cool stuff. So more on that soon, if I can get some information. It may be just with Kicker Studio, but a lot of fun. And what it showed is the team were there at 6.30 in the morning. So they don't just make these products and sell the products, they use them as well. And that was very evident walking around the office, uh, a lot of trophies on display and they're very proud of what they've made. So really cool to catch up with them that early in the morning. Jet lag wise, I don't know what time of day I was in, but uh, good to spin the legs over regardless. So after breakfast, back in the office and I met with all the product managers of all the different departments because again, I own all the products, I do videos on the products. As a consumer, I sometimes stumble through the products or sometimes deep dive into the details as well. The element of the turn-by-turn -turn navigation was one of those. Um, another video as well that we talked about was the, um, does gear selection matter with the kicker? And yes, it does in my video on that. Sort of nerded out with the, the product managers there on all the products, that was cool to see. Um, what else did we do? We saw the SpaceX launch with the engineering team. Now the setup of the actual, um, their office space at the moment, downstairs is a bit of engineering, a lot of customer support done from down there, in-person customer support. So if you're talking to people, you are talking to Wahoo. They're all downstairs. Their uh, QA, QC, engineering department downstairs, the hands-on guys, I think they're the only place I've seen that had more kickers than I do. So I'm very jealous of how many kickers they had in parts everywhere. Also a disco ball. I'm not quite sure what the disco ball was, uh, whether it's a, a product that's coming out soon from Wahoo, I don't know. And then we had a look at the climb. Now the kicker climb, we saw that over at Eurobike. We know that is very, very close to being released. I'm talking this close to being released. And they had the production models there being tested. And the last, well the final test they were actually running here was 40 pounds or 40 kilos. I'm not quite sure what unit of measurement was on the side of those weights there. But they had one running for over 24 hours up and down the clicker climb so we've been waiting a while for the kicker climb the reason being is they want to get it right and fair call on that too it's a uh, brand new product i've not seen anything like that cheers thanks mate so they're going to get the kicker climb right before it ships so stay tuned on that coat, cheers Bye. thanks mate that guy should work in uh, pro cycling that was a good hand up so as I said, all of them in the office there, they definitely were athletes, except one. There was one staff member who was not an athlete, but was highly active. Birdie, the dog, <laughs> stole the show. So super cute. Um, somebody's pet um, that goes into the office. And I think Birdie is the boss too. Some say Chip runs the company. I say Birdie would run the company. Super cute little puppy running around. Well, it wasn't a puppy, two years old. 
So it was a good way to spend a day or two there catching up with Wahoo. Oh, and by the way, the Gym Connect, that was the last thing I looked at at Wahoo, that allows treadmills to transmit over Ant Plus and Bluetooth. So super important. It was on point and on topic of Zwift Run. So I've got myself a Gym Connect and I'll be finding a commercial gym with a C-Safe port. More on that soon. I think it's a really neat little product. You don't need a shoe pod or a foot pod or calibration. You just plug these things into the C-Safe port and away you go. You can pair your, well, obviously Zwift Run to it or your watch as well and just track your, uh, your speed. So my detour over to New York via Atlanta was time well spent and it was really good to meet with all the product managers and all the people behind the products that I talk about quite a lot. So if you have any questions or you'd like me to dive into any specific topics on Wahoo products, let me know. I pretty much own them all. And now I know who the product managers are as well. So I can ask them the tricky questions and give you the information here. Alrighty, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.